All right, it is an amazing day. Good morning. Good morning. After quite a few cold days, so it is the perfect day for spring cleaning of our chicken coop. Show you some of the features of our chicken coop, why we made it the way we did. Maybe that will give you some ideas if you're looking to make or buy a coop. But in the process of doing our chores, moving the chickens, a fight broke out between our two favorite roosters. What is gonna happen? Ducks, got one egg. So normally our chickens get out during the during the morning. They have an automatic chicken door, and so they get out. But I reset it last night, so it wouldn't open up. So they're all inside. They're all excited to get out. They're hungry. They're thirsty. And so we've got to move this whole area. We're gonna move the chicken coop over because we need to clean it out. Can't clean them out with them inside of it. So we're gonna move them to a new area, drop the chickens off, and then that way we don't have to like chase them. Oh, good catch! And then along the way, we'll talk about all the things that this chicken coop does. Maybe it'll give you some ideas for your chicken. Coop. Yeah, she went too fast. I couldn't keep up. So the chickens were right here last year. And so it, it, the grass had died there, but it's starting to come back now. They were around this whole area, but that's right where the coop was at. <sighs> I'm out of breath. So this area won't. You ran, you drove too fast. <laughs> I know. I did on purpose. All right. Now we've got everything moved over, except for the coop. So we're going to hook it up to the tractor and then we'll roll it over there and drop off the chicken. Got a trailer hitch on it. Got the jacks to get up. Why don't you hold this? I'm going to, or I'll set it up. We'll get the tractor backed up to it. This is where we see if I got it right on. Let's find out if I can drop it on. Who did that? Oh, it might have, it might have rotated and it fell open. It wasn't locked. Oh, no. Well, we had these big plans of moving the chickens and the door swung open. like five in there. Well, we're gonna be chasing chickens today. They all came out. It's all right, baby. It's all right. Okay, we got the uh, coop all hooked up to the tractor. Now we're gonna move it up to the new spot. Here we go. Uh, I know. I gotta replace that deadbolt. So now we can, well, we gotta put the fence up. Just try to keep these chickens in, unless we don't care. Then we need to, we can get all the hay knocked out. So these guys all made the ride. All right, well, we're gonna put the fence up and then we've got like 50 chickens to get back in the yard, but first thing we need to do is- There you go, Rhonda. Come on, Rhonda. All right, so right now we're cleaning out the coop. We've got to get all this hay that we put on the bottom and put that in the winter to, to keep it warm, not let any cold air come up through the bottom. Now we can get it out of here because we made the bottoms a mesh and it doesn't cause problem for their feet. Some people think it might, but they do just fine. It's, it's a pretty small mesh and we've never had any issues with predators grabbing through it. So basically we're gonna get all of this out and then that'll allow some of their poop to go through the bottom and then also get airflow when it's really hot in, in the summer. So. We're gonna scoop all this out and then we're gonna go move it over by the house so we can wash it off, wash off the walls and spray it all out. Trip number two with the chicken coop. This one's going back to the house. All right, so we've got it moved over here by our house so we can run our hose to it. So we've got some maintenance to do on it. I've gotta put a new, a new door lock on it so I can lock that door because it swung open when we backed up with the chickens. All right, we've got the nest boxes opened up. So hopefully this will allow us to get any 
anything out of there, any pests, uh, mites, things like that, that, that bug the chickens, we can get this totally cleared out. So kind of reset them for the new year. All right, take extra special care on that guy. They earned it, huh? Oh, there's our plaque. Whenever we hit a million subscribers, we're gonna put that one in with the emu. We'll put that in the emu house. I got it cleaned out. Is this good enough for you? Yeah, this looks amazing. Oof, looks great. We haven't cleaned nest boxes out quite like this since ever. We've had it now for, let's see, two, three years. And so now we got the nesting box completely cleared out. We have some nesting box liners we'll put in there in just a second, but roosting bars look great. The sides look great. The floor is all that's as good as you're gonna get it, so that looks great. All right, we're just about finished. We've gotta drive over to the, the chicken yard. We've got our nice clean coop now, and then we've gotta get our chickens picked up. So let me start the tractor and get moved over there. <laughs> What was going on with the chicken? <laughs> oh, come on. The chicken was like running all the way over here. She was so excited. She was going to lay her eggs. She's excited. Oh, now Becky and I just have to raise up the jacks so we can lift the trailer off of the hitch and we can get the tractor out of the chicken yard. And then we just raise and lower the coop to get it balanced and that way our rainwater will flow the right way down into the rain barrel. And then we hook up our automatic waterer to the rain barrel and that way our chickens always have some water available to them. Hey Joey. Hey Joey. Well after getting the chicken coop cleaned up, the next thing we've got to work on is this mud room right here. Now the mud room is exactly that, a room full of, you guessed it, mud. We've got just the thing to take care of it. Today's video is sponsored by Robot Rock. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. We've got the S7 Max V unbox here, and then we'll try it out here in our mudroom with Joey. And there's our Robo Rock vacuum. Starting to clean. Right? Oh, whoa. Oh, there we go. The Robo Rock S7 Max V helps the family when it comes to cleaning the house and being pet friendly. It won't harm your animals while vacuuming. And with the robot vacuum, we can spend more time with our farm animals and our family. All right, now let's really put this vacuum to the test. We're gonna make some mud. Just bring that right on in here and, come on, Joey. Come on, Joey, come on in. And we need some of her hair too. Ooh, look at that. Okay, couldn't get her to step through it, so we're just gonna slop a little bit. Ooh, that's gross. Oh, that's gross. With its double suction power, it can gather all of the gross pet hair and leftover pet food and less noise than the other vacuums to avoid stressing out your pet. And with its AI obstacle avoidance, you'll see that it will avoid Joey completely. <laughs> All right, and then here's the fun part. Now we can talk to her through the camera on the vacuum. Check this out. Coming right at her. Joey, you're such a good dog. Jojo, come here. <laughs> Joey, come here. Joey, Jojo. There you go. And it'd be fun to see Joey if we were away from home. So what do you think, Joey? Do you approve? Here, we've got a treat for you. Good job. So be sure to check it out, the Roborock S7 Max Veep. We've got a link down in the description. That's pretty fun. What'd you think of that? I was cool. Hey, chicken, 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 chicken! And then we just had to get all of the chickens yeah, chicken, chicken, back into chicken, chicken, the chicken, chicken yard. And that was easier said than done. But we started with some chicken feed. And I got some of them to head that way. Here, chicken, 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 chicken! All right, we got about 15 of them here. Come on. We still got about 10 or 15 back there. All right, we got about two thirds of them in. We got about 10, 15 left over there. You guys can't catch one little chicken? <laughs> I got her. 
Mom caught her with a baby. <laughs> caught the chicken. That's sad, isn't Good it? Good job, girls. Bella, did you check, catch her? These guys are stubborn, so we're just gonna make sure they walk that way. <laughs> oh, what? See? There you go, there you go, there you go. All right, keep going. All right, so we're trying a different approach on this one. These guys were stubborn and wouldn't follow the bucket. We got a cat herder. And so we're trying this one by, by pushing, coming up behind them and walking them towards their, their coop. All right, we've got like nine right here. Let's get these guys in. Now they see it, now they see it. Good, 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 good. All right, there's like eight of them. I think we lost about five that peeled off. I think we're gonna have to get a net for them because they're the last few that just refused to follow. Good job, how'd you get her? Uh, I went fast as I can. <laughs> yep. got one of the Lavender Orpingtons. How'd you catch her? I was just tr keep trying. Yeah. All right, we've got five left. We've all got nets now. Got her. Now it's all chaos till we, get them, till we get the rest of them. Who wants to take this one? Here's our pretty Americana that's crossed with the I Am Chimani's. Really cool color, so let's get her over to the coop. Oh, good catch. You got the rooster, the mean rooster. There you go. All right, got Mr. Phoenix, Mr. Silver Phoenix. Put that meanie in there. Gotcha. This is our, this is our white Morans. Really pretty, lays a really dark chocolate egg. Is he the last one? Oh my gosh, Johnny's the last one, guys. <laughs> How's he have the energy to keep running? Come on. Coming around, coming around. Walk on. All right, last one. Whoever had uh, Johnny Cash is the last one to get caught, you guys win. Whatever the contest was. All right, looks like you got Pat. Go ahead and put Pat away. Okay. I am Chimani Moran's chicken. And I got Johnny. Here you go, John. Here you go, buddy. So right over here, we've got an automatic feeder. The chickens will step on it and then they can get access to the feed. And so if we weren't here for a couple days, then they'd be able to use that automatic feeder and get... <laughs> feed would last in there maybe four to six days. So along with the automatic water, we have the automatic feeder. We have the automatic door right here and so every morning that opens up when the sun comes up and then at night it goes down and so it'll lock them in and keep them safe then we just go in and collect the eggs from their nest box and so we've been able to get oh here on. here's the fight johnny cash and manny So we don't see them fight a ton, but Manny is our Moran's rooster, the, the big white one. Johnny Cash was our longtime head of the, the coop. He's our I Am Chimani rooster, and Manny just showed his dominance there as Johnny Cash backed down at the end. So outside the coop and inside we have solar set up. In here we actually have our inverter is right there, our batteries are up there. We have our controller right there, and then right out here, we've got our <laughs> solar panels. <laughs> right there on top of the coop, so we have 400 watts of solar panels right there, and so that gives us plenty of power to be able to power the lights. We have lights underneath either side, <laughs> and so we could light it up out here at night if we needed to, and then we have lights on the inside. So I think that pretty much covers it. It's mobile, it's got automatic rainwater collection, it's got solar power and so it's really off the grid with its water collection with its power collection and then we have things automated from the door to the feeder to the waterer and then here's Johnny Cash and Manny fighting again <laughs> Thank you.
So I don't think Johnny was, I don't think Johnny Cash was satisfied with fight number one, and so he just took him on again, and Manny backed down that time. That's wild. I've never really seen him fight like this. So Cape's done. Yay. What do we need to do next? Take a nap. Hey, you ready to move the pigs? No. <laughs> do that another day. Yeah.